Uh, hi, in this video we are going to see uh, how to have regular expression in our condition. So in order to do that, I'll just create a quickly new flow service. I'll just call this one as a validate order number. Or you can name it like you wanted to process some order which is incoming. There you wanted to validate your order number before you proceeding. Okay. So then what you can do is you can just create a service. And when I receive a service, right, I wanted to check uh, I'm receiving order number or not. Okay. And then I'll just check the order number is alpha alphabet or not okay so that is a validation i'm going to do but i'm going to achieve that through regular expression so i'll just uh, create my variable like order id and i'll just copy this variable we have defined our input as order id in the input output tab i'll just go to tree i'm going to add a branch step you just click insert and branch i'm going to switch this value which is order id and i'm just going to add a map step okay so in the map step i'm just going to say this label i'm going to validate if anything you wanted to give it in a regular expression you have to put this slash and you have to give this slash in between whatever you have right this space you have to write your condition so for example i'm going to say here exact you have to use a java syntax for the regular expression because webmother is java based and uh, this cap simple it start with uh, that and then i'll say it has to uh, come with 0 to 9 okay so that is a validation i wanted to do in a regular expression and it basically it has to start with uh, z, uh, 0 or, or 0 to 9 right so that's a validation we have and now i'll save it and i'll just uh, have one more condition i'll just uh, give that as a another map step where i specify default if anything is not matching then it will go here Okay, so when we have this one, right, I wanted to set some value here and I'll say validation status. So here, if the value is matching with this regular expression, then I'll just give true. And then if it is not, then I'll just set that same field, right? I'll just uh, copy that field. Validation status or better you give it an input output tab because every service should have some input and output. So this service, uh, whatever we are doing it now, we have wanted to validate the order ID and I'll just uh, map that value here. Order ID is not valid. Here we have written like, okay, so here we have written like true, uh, I'll say, yeah, so then we'll say this is true and default will say false. So here I just declared in a string field itself. Now I'm just going to run this one with a different input. Run flow service. I'll just give some uh, numeric value just to see what is the output. See here we gave a number so that's why it's giving true. So we'll try to give some other value. Run flow service. I'll just give uh, maybe A, B, C. See the value is going to false because when it is executing this branch right it's not starting 0 to 9 so that's why uh, it is giving false so i'll just try with some alphanumeric value like this a b c 1 2 3 so then uh, what it will come still it will be false because uh, it's not starting with 0 to 9 i'll try to have different value i'll say 1 2 3 and i'll say a b c i'll click ok see here true because the condition what we gave right it has to start either from 0 to 9 then because here it's starting with 1, so 1, 2, 3, right? So it's starting with uh, 1 only. So that's why the validation status is becoming true. So this way you can write some regular expression in order to match some specific condition. Okay, so this is uh, one kind of example and uh, you can use any kind of uh, example to whatever the regular expression syntax you have, the same thing you can put it here and then uh, you can validate uh, any in your any of the condition in your flow. So if you wanted to know the regular expression, right, then you can go and check it in a Java website. Okay, so regular expression in Java. And uh, you can check it in this docs.oracle.com because Java is part of Oracle now. So if you go and see here, right, and uh, you'll be able to see the pattern, what you have to give, right. So if you pass this value, right, 
then it will match that condition and uh, it will execute it for example here uh, i'll just read one see here slash d you can give for uh, digit 0 to 9 as well N non digit right and they're saying we have to give it like this for example i'll just give this one just to show in a demo so this one right start with square bracket 0 to 9 but here if you see a non digit they are giving this condition not equal to 0 to 9 they are giving or you can give this character also so this way uh, you can uh, match any of the condition and you can achieve that in web methods thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye